In spring of 2014, an acquaintance of mine called to say that his very dear friend Nancy Fister had been murdered here in Aspen. He and other Aspenites were deeply concerned about the intense media coverage the case was receiving, especially considering the colorful reputation of the victim and the city they lived in. I told him if I covered the story, at least he would know and trust one person who was on the ground looking into it. But I cautioned him that our job at 48 Hours is to investigate and report what we find. And sometimes people don't always like the information or agree with it. What we found when we got here is that for locals, Aspen, true Aspen, is pretty much that everyone knows everyone. And because Nancy Fister's family was integral in developing one of the mountains here into a world-class ski resort, everybody knew Nancy. In fact, it was rather astonishing that everyone we talked to had a story about Nancy Fister. And most of it was told through a nostalgic haze of tears and laughter as they would tell us about the time that Nancy had behaved so outrageously, so horrifically, that they stopped talking to her for a while. That was the public image of Nancy, the party girl. The private side of Nancy, according to her friends, was that she was much more manageable, charming, and easy to love, much like their beloved Aspen. And just like as they said about their friend, people here vehemently argued that Aspen is much more than its celebrity-crazed, beautiful people, billionaires, playground image too. However, for as much as people here went on and on about the real Nancy and the real Aspen privately, very few were willing to stand up and speak for either publicly, including some well-known residents and elected officials. So were they trying to protect Nancy or Aspen or maybe an image that they had created of both? It's hard to say for sure, but from this reporter's perspective, it was a missed opportunity to share something wonderful, a lesser, lovelier truth about this one particular person and this particular place by people who said they knew them best. I'm Maureen Maher. As always, we invite you to join us live during and after the show on Facebook and Twitter to share your opinion.